Acting is something you uh, experience with other spirits whose experiences you haven't experienced. Go ahead. <laughs> I wanted to first start off by talking about how literally everyone tuned in for the Pathan success meet as if it was an event. The lack of appearances that the cast did before the release of the film and especially the fact that they never came together and of course the mammoth success of the film had generated enough hype for people to be curious about the dynamic that they shared together. What's the most refreshing part about the press conference slash interview is that the cast did not allow any individual questions with the media. Whether that was a conscious decision because of the relationship with especially Shah Rukh Khan becoming scarred has room for debate but it also resulted in the smooth functioning of the event organic conversations interesting anecdotes and genuinely heartfelt moments versus transitioning into frivolous conversations that is usually the case with trailer launch and press events where the media often asks the most tone deaf and irrelevant questions it's hilarious how with a controlled setting when questions are not allowed to be asked the actors came out with a far more compelling interaction than if they were allowed to do so you also do write down your thoughts about the same getting right into one of my favorite segments on the channel where we speak about actors who were blunt and honest with their words and sometimes instances where it has led to awkward moments throwing off even interviewers of the casual nature with which the truth bombs were dropped here is tried and refused productions with 10 brutally honest and awkward indian celebrity interviews Brunal Thakur At the time when the insider versus outsider debate was rampant Brunal Thakur was on the red carpet for her upcoming release Ghost Stories While Brunal has become a big name currently with her releases like Super 30 Sita Ramam and Jersey she was still paving her way from television at this point While being asked about how tough it is to make their mark in an industry that is mostly guarded with respect to the familiar faces they want to work with, Brunal made it clear that several facets have to be taken into account. While one can blame the individual for being born in a family, the media also plays a part in ignoring new faces as they are more intrigued by the star kids. Awards nights chal rahi thi and uh, you know the interview session was happening. I'm I'm in the middle of an interview and the media ran behind the star kid. Now tell me I have been given uh, awarded as the best actor uh, critics uh, as same as Janvi being you know, awarded the same night I was not even handed the speech I'm not saying that I'm jealous or something I'm saying that it's not their fault stop pointing nepotism nepotism it also depends on the audience and the media especially This facet often gets ignored by the public as the media will never take ownership of what gets them more traffic Abhay Deol One of the most underrated actors that one has followed since the mid 2000s is Abhay Deol, considered to be the man who was doing compelling and understated work that would have found its home on streaming platforms if they existed in the mid 2000s. Abhay has had his fair share of conflicts within the film industry from calling out celebrities for fairness cream endorsements or getting into conflict with music labels on the red carpet. It's been nothing short of eventful. Anurag Kashyap when asked about the making of Dev D had communicated how Abhay was tough to work with as he came from a Deol family and against the budget of the film wanted perks and VIP treatment. In a recent interview with Midday Abhay clarified his stance and what he feels about Anurag Kashyap as a personality. He came up to me and said listen you can't stay with us you're a Deol so I'm going to put you up in a hotel room. He literally told me that I'm saying this on camera and what he told the press was I demanded it. But he's definitely a liar, he's definitely a toxic person and I would born people of him Malvika Monan and Nayantara whenever big stars are called out it's bound to generate controversy owing to the loyal fan base that is going to defend them every step of the way case in point being Parvati rightly pointing out the problematic tropes of Kasba and being threatened for the same while Malvika Monan was asked on what are some illogical tropes of Tamil cinema she referenced a scene which presumably was about Nayantara's appearance where she was in full makeup in a hospital I've seen like this really big superstar actress she's in this one hospital scene where she's almost like dying and she's in a hospital and she's in full makeup <laughs> even if it's a commercial movie even if you have to look pretty it it has to look little realistic at least right This is a justifiable criticism if one thinks objectively. Nayantara reacted however on the same, justifying it by saying that it's in the scope of commercial cinema and hence the actress has to look presentable and somewhat glamorous in each frame, which I thought was a weak defense. Irrespective, it was interesting to see how if one celebrity is just being honest, how the media and the audience go up in arms as if the most offensive statement was made. 
Chiranjeevi, a man who has persevered and has stayed relevant for decades, even giving a hit this year with his film Walter Viraya, is Chiranjeevi, a Telugu cinema legend who is revered and respected for years of work he has dedicated to the craft. A big proponent of the inclusivity of films and proud of the strides that Telugu cinema has made, Chiranjeevi in a pre-release speech became extremely vulnerable and emotional, giving an anecdote of how he was awarded the Nargis Dutt Award for his film Rudravina in 1988. Upon his visit to Delhi, he was disheartened to see the visuals of Hindi cinema being plastered everywhere, but there being little to no recognition given to the legends of Telugu cinema, clubbing together cinema from all four states of South India as South Cinema. Indian cinema and Hindi cinema Mita cinema le do pranti bhasha chitta lanta abhi ato adu gora purti style ho yuva sa respectable do. As we live in a time where there is more awareness of the same, I can understand why a legend like Chiranjeevi feels emotional when movies from his state now are not only getting national but global attention and acclaim. Jaya Bachchan and Amitabh Bachchan. If there is a talk show that showcased vulnerability and realism like never seen before with celebrities, then it was Rendezvous with Simi Garibal almost becoming so real that one gets uncomfortable as if you're eavesdropping on a private discussion. When Jaya Bachchan and Amitabh Bachchan appeared in 1998 together, it accounted for several moments where the tension could be cut with a knife. From a question posed to Jaya Bachchan of whether Amitabh Bachchan is romantic with her... Is he a romantic? No. Not with me. <laughs> this started trouble. I've never done that. Maybe if, if, he, if he had a girlfriend, he'd do it, but I don't think he To what is Amitabh Bachchan's priority in life, it led to several moments where one could not help but notice the sheer silence and awkwardness that persisted. Amit's priorities, according to me, are first his parents, his children, and then me. His profession, and then me. Mm. Or maybe if there's anybody else. Interviews are never going to be the same because actors wouldn't dare to be this raw and real on camera anymore. But it is an interesting visit to the vault where actors were bare and as unguarded as one could imagine. Karthik Aryan An impact that is undeniable that a new talent has had on Hindi cinema is that of Karthik Aryan, a genuine fan base that has risen from the niche that he has established for himself and his persistence in making a name for himself without having a godfather or connections within the industry. In his recent interview with Aapki Adalat, Karthik was at his witty best, being clear and appreciative of the masses, while he was still tongue-in-cheek about what exactly transpired in the fallout with Dharma Productions and Karan Johar, it was the first time I've seen an actor being unapologetic about his whopping acting face that he received for his Netflix release, Dhamaka. That film was made and it was for 10 days. So that was my renumeration and... Sir, I'm going to double my money in 10 days. <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan One of the most refreshing aspects of the Pathan press conference post its release was to see the warm dynamic among the actors, especially Shah Rukh Khan and John Abraham who worked for the first time together. Even in the pre-release snippet, Shah Rukh Khan had wished that the biggest takeaway of the audience be John as Jim. It was also lovely to see the actor appreciating John for his contribution to the film and being benevolent enough to give credit to him for the great work he's done. It's so rare to see such a moment while the lead usually garners all the praise. It also felt nice to see John getting so many accolades on what's otherwise been a tough few years at the movies. The backbone of Pathan as a character, as an actor and essaying that role. The best thing in Pathan is Jim played by John. Yeah. Anushka Sharma one of the criticisms from the film Sultan that I definitely did not agree with was when Anushka Sharma's character in the film was described as being regressive for having chosen to have a child. The personal choice was never forced upon her and yes, her dream was wrestling at the Olympics but the circumstances caused her to take a backseat. This notion that Sultan compelled her to do the same is where I disagreed because she was never cornered to choose. Anushka in one interaction defended the same and also reminded the media that they don't acknowledge that Arfa, even after having the child, it returns to wrestling in the conclusion of the film. That it was a regressive character which I don't agree with at all. Because nobody, uh, it was in fact progressive because she made the decision herself. You know, it's not like he forced her, ki abhi tum give up kar do, ya anyone forced her. It was a decision that she took herself and, and it was a choice whether to have the child or not have a child and she chose to have a child. And she would have gone back to wrestling like she does in the film. Sunny Leon 
Sunny Leone is often subjected to the most lewd and absurd questioning by the media owing to her past and experiences in the adult entertainment industry, almost as if the media thinks that it's the gateway to cross any line as she wouldn't mind it. In a media interaction for a movie, the journalist asked probably the most inappropriate question to her, for which she had a befitting reply and was bemused that this is all they could conjure up as an idea for a question. If I ask you a case, R 1 crore rupees, which one you will give me? Wait. Who you or you're gonna give me one crore? <laughs> yeah, it's a very silly question. That was your one chance, guy. <laughs> to ask me anything, and that's what you asked. Ritik Roshan. If something really breaks my heart, it's where actors, due to the underwhelming performance of the film at the box office, films where they stepped out of their comfort zone and absolutely nailed their roles, act as an indicator to limit themselves to heroic, larger-than-life roles that the fans want to see. This is what Ritik Roshan recalled with Bhardwaj Rangan as they referenced the performance of Vikram Veda in the box office. It is not maybe something that people like to see me do. Yes, of course, I am pragmatic on the fact that it was a remake, that there's a Hindi dub available, the movie clashed with Pony and Sylvan and Kantara, but you would be lying to yourself if Hrithik Roshan didn't absolutely blow you away with his rendition of Veda. I will think twice before doing a role which does not cater, you know, to the to the star and to the, right. the fans and all of that. The way to go is, you know, films like War and Fighter and, you know, these, these are... And, and, and try and find the flight of my... Uh, the artist in me, within these spaces. I hope, however, as Ritik did reflect on the same, it doesn't limit him to just do heroic saviour roles and he does have a gambit of characters, while being realistic, of course, with the budgets and the expectations that come with a particular type of film. And that was the video, guys. Write down in the comments below or whether you have some video ideas for our channel. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.